Welcome back, everybody. It's time for What's Hot. Thanks, Speaker Boehner. His news conference has uh, cost us one of our topics this afternoon. <laughs> we only get two today. We're joined by Tracy Johnson from Tampa, Milwaukee, and Jeff Wagner is back. So a 16-year-old in foster care wants an abortion, but the Nebraska Supreme Court ruled that teen is too immature. The teen said she was worried she did not have the financial resources to support a child or be the right mom she'd want to be. So should the court have allowed her to have the abortion? And what makes this even more of a mess is that Nebraska is one of the states where you need parental consent, but she's a foster kid. Her parents are apparently the biological parents. They're abusive, so their custody has been terminated. This is just a mess. And i got to tell you, I don't say this often, I don't know how you resolve this one. She's clearly probably not mature enough to make this decision, but at the same time, you want to make her a mother. It's just, this is awful. Well, I mean, if the state is caring for this this young woman, I think the, the best that they can do here is to help her with the, the resources that she needs to have a full pregnancy and then help the child um, through adoption because this child is going to be a, a, a court of the award of the state anyway you look at it. It's just such an emotional it's issue. Just, it's a bad situation all around. And again, Tracy, I think you're right. Hopefully you're they right. will help her instead of, okay, we've made right. a ruling. Now you're on well, your own. Well, and, and to, to, to get to this point and say, oh, I, I don't think I'm mature enough to uh, take care of this child. This is going to be my solution. I just, you think about the time that passes between each meeting mm -hmm. and each meeting of the court, each meeting of the, the parents or each meeting of the, the, the state. Um, how do you really deal with this? You're dealing with a pregnancy. Every week matters. No winners in this scenario no, here. Awful. All right, we're going to come back with uh, Brian Goddard's forecast and another What's Hot Topic after this. Choice topic of the day. Again, we're joined by Tracy Johnson and Jeff Wagner. You know him from the radio. All right, an 11 year old Florida girl had a health screening at school. She was sent home with a letter saying her weight made her at risk. She's five foot three, 127 pounds. Mom and dad not happy about this. Should the school have sent home the letter? No. I mean, th th they use this body mass index, this BMI, and that is a horrible indicator. I understand you want to be concerned about childhood obesity. I get that. But you're taking these athletes and you're trying to apply this one-size-fits-all standard, and it just doesn't work. But they're, they're saying that it's, it's simply a screening, and we're asking the schools to be responsible for the portions. We're asking the schools to be responsible for the, the amount of athle athletics that they participate in. I think that the schools are, are taking this a step further and saying, listen, uh, you know, we're doing our part. Now let's take it home and, and but, be responsible. But, but how do you feel? I mean, you're, you're this teenage girl that's in great shape. She mm -hmm. is an athlete. She's not obese. Now she's got this fat tag labeled on her. When the school sends it, it home, it's a mom and dad. You better it, watch out. It, it, it doesn't say fat tag. I mean, all of it is, is in context, saying that they're looking at these indicators and they're looking <laughs> at uh, the fact that in the future, there could be an issue. I mean, height and weight, I think, combined athleticism the muscles. I, I mean, all of that comes into play here. It's a perfectly normal, healthy, it, young lady, it, and now you've got the teacher saying, Mom and Dad, you better watch this out. Well, watch out for this. but if, I, I agree with you that it's a horrible indicator, but I don't think that they're out of line by making this, uh, bringing this to the top of their attention. A lot of parents want the schools to be doing more and more to look after their kids. I mean, that's just a fact of life. Parents want their schools to be daycares in some aspects. If they this need is, looking at yeah. This is what's going to happen. Well, 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 right. But again, if you're going to do something like this, at least have some valid sort of indicator, well, yeah, not this BMI thing. I think you look BMI at the indicators thing. and then you look at who she is. You look yeah. at her body, look at what she's doing. They're not putting it in context. They're just like, here are the numbers. Send in the letter. But, but you can't. I mean, uh, you're trying to implement a system. I don't think you can do this on a case by case by I case basis. I think it's basis. a bad system. People you have to do you, it Courtney. case by case. All right. Out of time. What's Hot Discussion will continue <laughs> online. They got quiet so quickly. I'm amazed. <laughs> TMJ4.com slash hot is where you can pick this up online. Coming up, sir.